Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the refraction of light. The basically what is the definition of refraction of light? Here the phenomenon of bending of light when it travels from one medium to another medium is called refraction of light. This refraction of light we can discuss in three cases. The first one we can discuss in first case plane surfaces the second one we can discuss spherical surfaces Third one we can discuss lenses. This refraction we can discuss in according to our portion. The plane surfaces, what is a refraction of light? The spherical surfaces, what is a refraction of light? And lenses, what is a refraction of light? The first of all, we have to discuss the, these three parts means we can discuss so many other but we can in this our topic according to our syllabus the plane surfaces spherical surfaces and uh, lenses we can discuss the refraction of light before discussing entering into our topic now we have to know the some basic points before discussing this now we have to discuss some basic point now always the first plane surface is the first part we can uh, we can divide according to our convenient plane surfaces second one is spherical surfaces third one is lenses in object to purpose this lenses this topics uh, very important for all competitive examinations if you observe the always the question comes from lens makers formula that lens makers formula under lens concept then the refraction of light we can discuss three cases now the one by one we are going to discuss now the first one we can take plane surfaces the refraction of light in plane surfaces plane surfaces we have to discuss in this plane surfaces first one absolute refractive index means the refractive index mu equals to the velocity of light in air to velocity of light velocity of light in mu mu now the mu is equals to velocity of light in ac the velocity of light in medium we can write v in this condition the v is a velocity of light in a is a constant then the mu is directly proportional to 1 by velocity of light in medium whenever the velocity to one light traveling from one medium to another medium it is having a relation mu directly proportional to 1 by v if the refractive index is increases or decreases the velocity also changes whenever the refractive index is increases the velocity of light is decreases refractive index is decreases velocity of light is increases now after this we can discuss the relative refractive index what is the relative refractive index? Light is traveling from one medium to another medium. First of all, in this condition, generally the refractive index we can write, it is mu, mu equals to velocity of light in one medium to velocity of light in another medium. This is a, gives a relation between two refractive indexes. Then this one, generally I am writing one upon two. 
then here this refractive index we can write the first point I am saying the mu greater than 2 mu 1 whenever the mu is greater than 2 mu 1 means with respect to this one in this condition we can conclude that the mu 2 we can say optically denser medium then mu 1 we can say optically rarer ok now the second point in this refractive index we can write whenever if the light is travelling from lower refractive index to high refractive index means here the light travels from mu1 to mu that time what will happen the refracted ray refracted ray bending towards normal no then here we are writing now I am taking this is the one surface this surface separate the two medias mu1 and mu2 here mu2 is greater than mu1 that's why if you apply this one this we can say rarer medium and this we can say denser medium now in this condition the light is incident on this point now we can say this point is O on that point we have to draw the one normal it is represented by n this angle of incident now we can say OA is the angle of incident then angle made with normal to angle of incident we can say I we can represent I that is called angle of incident in this condition now we can write this incident light incident ray of light the velocity V1 lambda wavelength lambda 1 frequency f whenever it is traveling from lower refractive index to higher refractive index all right what is bending towards the normal now it is bended towards the normal this ray we can say b now this angle we can write angle of refraction in this here what will happen the ray is traveling from rarer medium to your condition is u2 greater than u1 whenever the light is traveling from lower refractive index to high refractive index what will happen here the light is traveling from lower refractive index to high refractive index means refractive index is increases the velocity decreases then here what will happen this is v1 v2 lambda 2 and f whenever it is traveling from lower refractive index to higher refractive index this refractive light ray then this refractive index is increases the velocity v2 decreases as well as lambda 2 also decreases but f is a constant here this velocity is decreased that's why the light is bending towards the norm now second condition also if you write the light is traveling from mu1 mu2 to mu1 the refracted ray bending away from the norm why because the velocity of light is increased now we write take this one no
second condition the light travels from u2 to u1 then refracted ray bending away from norm away from the norm then how it will be now i am taking the diagram here this is u1 rarer medium u2 denser now what is the condition the light travels from u2 to mu1 the mu2 to mu1 here what will happen the ray is incident on this one. again you can take a this is the o now ray is incident o a is incident on point o this angle of incident this ray of velocity in medium to that's why we can write mu to wavelength lambda to and frequency constant now it is travel from lower refractive index to high refractive index means refractor ray of re refractor ray in lower refractive index the lower refractive index means the refractive index is decreases velocity is increases due to that one the ray is bending away from the norm this point a is b this is refracted ray the angle from normal to the refracted ray to normal then we can say the angle of refraction this is the angle of refraction in this condition by using this one also we can take the snell's law otherwise this condition are first condition here what will happen here angle of incident if you want to take the angle of incident a o n is the angle of incident o a is the angle of it is a incident ray now here n is a normal and o b is a refracted ray and angle of o n n o b is a angle of refraction now in this condition what will happen whenever the light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium or one medium to another medium what is the changes velocity changes and wavelength also changes but frequency remains constant in this condition what will happen velocity is here v1 the lambda one frequency y in this condition what will happen in this case the mu1 is decreased mu1 is decreased means v1 increases in this condition what we can take here the mu1 is greater v1 is greater than 2 v2 similarly lambda1 greater than 2 lambda2 and condition already we know that mu2 is greater than mu1 in this condition what will happen the frequency remains constant this is the frequency this frequency is remains constant why the remains constant means if you want to get the clarity v equals to n lambda means v is directly proportional to lambda velocity increases wavelength also increases velocity decreases wavelength also decreases remove the proportionality v is equals to n lambda n is a proportional constant it doesn't depends on the velocity of light wavelength of wavelength of the light now it is a introduction in this it is this is introduction we can use in complete refraction of complete this lesson this part we have to remember and what is the changes and why it will be changed because of refractive index okay